everybody, it's Keith Urban. Welcome to day two of our 30 songs and 30 day series. Guess which one we're doing today? Yes, we're going to work through one of the great classic songs of all time, especially if you love playing guitar, Sweet Home Alabama by the legendary Leonard Skinner. Sweet Home Alabama, it's one of the first songs that a lot of people learn on the guitar because it's pretty simple to learn and it's certainly extremely well known. When you hit that first, that's all you got to play and everyone knows exactly what you're doing. This is the first of many songs that we're going to learn by other artists. I and mean, there's a lot of great songs that uh, you can learn so much from. They're fun to play. They're fun to sing along if you want to do that too. And of course, there's all sorts of different ways to play these songs. So I want to say firstly that uh, these are cover songs for me, so I, I may not play them exactly the way that someone out there who knows how to play them plays them. I don't know what the definitive version is. We're just going to learn the basics here today and uh, get you started on playing these songs that you know so well. Like I said during the first lesson, we've ordered the songs so that you continue to build on what you've already learned. That way you can get to where you want to go, playing a great new song every day. Sweet Home Alabama is a great example of that. We're going to play it using the two chords you already learned and some strumming patterns that you already know. So what's new? A third chord and a world famous intro. That's it. Let's go. Now remember you learned how to play your open position G major or simply your G chord for Live to Love Another Day. Here's a quick review. Begin with your second finger on the fifth string, second fret. Next, use your third finger, this is the ring finger, on the sixth string, third fret, right there. The fourth, third and second strings, they're all open. That way we finish up with our fourth finger, right here, the pinky, on the first string, third fret. That's our G chord. Now for this song, we're going to introduce a slightly modified version of that chord, which I'll go through in a minute. Along with your G chord, Sweet Home Alabama also uses the open C major chord, or C. Now as a reminder, we'll go through it. Begin with your first finger on the second string, first fret. You add your second finger to the fourth string, second fret. Next, use your third finger to play the fifth string, third fret. There. And we leave the G string open. first string also is left open. There we go. Now remember the key. Use the tip of your third finger to mute the sixth string. This one here. You want that one muted. There you go. Now like the G chord, we'll be using a slightly modified version of the C chord, which I'll walk you through a little bit later. All right, it's time to learn our third chord. This is the open position D major, or simply the D chord. The fourth string is played open. That's because it's the D string right there. Now the first finger plays the third string, second fret right there. And then the third finger plays the second string on the third fret. That leaves our second finger, right here, middle finger, to play the first string on the second fret. And the best thing is to strum it just from the string down. You can get this A string a little bit, that's fine. You just don't want to hit this big E string because this is what it sounds like. I don't know what chord that is, it's not the one I need. <laughs> So try and just strum it from this string down. There you go. And just take a few minutes to practice the transition between your G and C chords and your new D chord. So let's step through these chords a little bit. I'll call them out as we go. Let's start with the D chord. You just strum that a little bit. Okay. And we're going to go to the C chord. We're going to go to the G chord. <laughs> and the 
back to the D. Now, it takes a bit of practice to be able to change between these because you're learning so much in a very short space of time. So just be patient with yourself. It takes a little practice, takes a little time. So don't worry. In time, you're going to be able to do this second nature, but it'll just take baby steps. Before we move on to the song, I want to tell you something that you'll definitely want to know. The G, C, and D chords are the three most used chords on the guitar. With just these three chords, you're going to be able to play thousands of songs, I promise you. But take a moment. I mean, it's been less than two days. Um, we're on to song two, but you're already on your way, so congratulations. Like I said, Sweet Home Alabama is a pretty simple song. After the intro, both the verse and the chorus are played using the same chords in the same order, D, C, G. We're going to review the chord progression first, and then we'll tackle that intro riff. The verse and chorus are identical. Two beats on D, two beats on C, four beats on G. we keep cycling around that. So let's practice that progression slowly so you can get used to the transition and the timing. On D, one, two, C, one, two, G, one, two, three, four. One more time. Now you know your C and your G, but most bands play this song a little bit different and it actually makes it a bit easier. Let me show you. This is the normal three finger G. But I want to play it a little bit differently. So I'm hitting both the third and fourth fingers, it's these right here, on the third fret. Meaning they're there. So here's G with that. That's the four finger G. The reason why this is a good version is because in this song, when you go to the C, instead of playing the C, we just did it before, play this G and simply move your first and second fingers up to the next strings like this. That way you're able to switch between C and G pretty easily. Here's the fun part, it's time to learn the intro. It's instantly recognizable and very famous around the world. The intro is based on the same chord progression as the song, but it's got a little bit of picking along the way. So you, you know that picking style, it's this. Basically, we're gonna start with the D chord. There we are. You'll pick the fourth string twice, meaning like that, twice. One, two, then you're going to go to the second and third strings and play them one each, like this. So, one, two. Then move your hand to the modified C chord, which is there, right there. Then play the fifth string twice. Followed by again picking the second and third strings. Now move to the four finger G chord. Right there. Once you get to the four finger G, you pick the sixth string twice. And again on the second and third strings. There you go. And if you put it all together and play it twice, it would sound like this. Two, three, Four. Ah, there it is. Yeehaw!
And take your time and think about the song. Again, it's easy to think about it in chunks or sections. Because you start with the intro riff. <laughs> then you've got the verse. Next up is the intro riff again. Then you have another verse. Then there's a chorus. The intro riff plays again. Another verse. Then a chorus. And finally, we end the song with the intro riff. Just like I showed you in the earlier sections. Practice slowly. Count your beats until you can feel the rhythm. That's what's really important. So if we were to step through the song to give you the general gist of it, strumming, you would have it something like this, starting on the D. Big wheels keep on turning. Three, four. Carry me home to see my king. Three, four. And so on. That's what keeps repeating, cycling through the verse. Then you get to the chorus, it's exactly the same chords. Sweet home Alabama. Three, four. <laughs> Where the skies are so blue. Mm -mm. You can put the mm mm in there, very important. <laughs> Sweet home Alabama. Very easy, cool. Lord, I'm coming home to you. There you have it. Howdy, y'all. My name is Adam Wesley Brown. This here is Sweet Elm, Alabama. sound pretty good.